What's up guys, welcome to CJ's Q. I know it's been a while since I put out a video, but we got one for you today. We're gonna do some big old dino ribs, short ribs from Snake River Farms. We're gonna do them on our pit barrel cooker. So y'all wanna stick around for this one for sure. In my kitchen right now, we're gonna get these short ribs prepared. Listen, it's gonna be mega hot outside today. It's, they're talking like 105, 106, something like that. So we're gonna do as much as possible in the kitchen today. So we're gonna trim up these shorties. We're gonna season them up with some Caribbean Q. It's gonna be good eating, right? But we're gonna do it all in house. Run out there, fire up the pit, put it on there, and you can run back in, have a beer, be in the air conditioned like mother nature intended, right? <laughs> All right, guys, nothing left to do but get to it. Let's get over here and start trimming up these short ribs. What do you say? All right, guys, time to get this bad boy out of the cryo bag. Just be careful of all the excess juice in there. Get it patted dry. Now what we're going to do is get all that silver skin off the top. Trim up that fat. All these scraggly bits. Real easy. All right, so get yourself a sharp knife. You see down here, there's a little bit of a little hanging flap right there. So we're going to cut that off. Let's get your knife just barely underneath that and just start working it back and forth. All right. Keep as much meat as possible. We want to expose the meat so we can start building that nice bark. Look at that good marbling in there. This really does help to have a really sharp knife. I use my doll strong knives on these, uh, these trim jobs like this. This little boning knife does a great job. Real thin, real easy to work with. I'll throw a link down below if you want to get yourself one. And don't worry if it's not perfect or you chop some of the meat, dig in a little bit. I ain't gonna hurt anything. Cut off this little end right there. All right, I'm gonna finish this up and then we'll get it seasoned up. All right, team, this is about good as I wanted to get. I left a little bit of fat over here, but there isn't much silver skin underneath that. And you know, fat is flavor. We're gonna have a great bark built on this. We left the bottom membrane on. It doesn't help anything to take it off, and it's just gonna help us hold those ribs together. When we put this on the pit barrel, we're not gonna hang it. We're gonna set it on the grate. So this bottom part will be over the fire. So it's gonna protect all that meat while it's getting that nice smoke. All right. Let's go ahead and get this bad boy seasoned up. Got a little Caribbean Q AP rub, and we got a little Caribbean Q beef big and bold rub. Do a little, little coat of each. Okay, I'm not so worried about getting the back, but you ought to make sure you get the sides. Don't forget the sides, folks. You don't rub your rub, you pat it on your meat. Forget the sides. You're building bark all over this bad boy. Get some of that big and beefy rub. Got a nice lot of pepper in there. We're gonna build an amazing bark on this. And I didn't use any binder on these because they're tacky as all get out. But if your ribs are feeling a little dry and that won't take on the, the rub, then go ahead and use a binder by all means. Simple as can be. All right, I'm gonna let this set and sweat while we get the pit fired up. All right, team, we're outside, about to fire up that pit barrel. We're going with the original uh, Kingsford uh, professional lump charcoal. All right, nothing too crazy. Gonna throw a couple blocks of cherry wood in there. Use my grill blazer to fire it up, get those, get those coals going, but nothing to this one. We're just gonna put the, the ribs on that rack and just let them go. All right, let's fire up this pit barrel. All right, so we got our charcoal briquettes. Ready to go, got a little fire starter in there just to kind of help the grill gun. All right, so we got our grill blazer grill gun here. I'm gonna turn it on ever so slightly, get it lit. And let's get ready to fire it up, baby. All right, we're lit in there. Let's get it going. Let's throw a couple uh, cherry wood chunks in there to go with some uh, whiskey barrel wood chips I put in there. We have a nice combination of flavors. Got some good smoke rolling. That big old beefy rack of short ribs on there. We're gonna let this smoke for a little bit. Get our, uh, get our rebar back in there. So we're gonna let it take on some of that smoke. We're not gonna temp probe it. We're just gonna go about four or five hours and then check the temp. 
Not gonna wrap, just gonna let this go all the way through. All right, looking nice and moist. Get the smoke going. Pit barrel's doing the dang thing. It's looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little spritz on these dry parts up here. We're about an hour and a half in. Getting a good looking bark on there. Doing all right. Looking good, sorry for the shadows. Still moist, still lovely. We got a little bit more time. It's temping out about 186, 187. Depending on where you're at. Five hours. We got a great looking bark going on. We're gonna temp it out. It's over 210. But look how easy it's just going in. Like nothing. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna get this out. We're gonna go ahead and tint it. And then we'll get it uh and we'll chop it up after an hour, hour and a half of resting. Tint it. We're gonna let it rest for an hour or so. But we're good to go. All right, team, we're back inside. We're about ready to chop up these big old dino bones, dino ribs, all right? Now, like I said, we're gonna do everything as much as possible on the inside, so you got to see. We got it on that pit barrel. Got tons of heat and smoke on that bad boy. Now we're gonna see, you know, see the rewards of all the hard work, blood, sweat, and tears out there, you know what I'm saying? All right, come on down, let's check them out. Okay, team, we've had this tinted for about an hour, hour and a half, looking good. Got some barky bark, not to be confused with marky mark. All right, so we got our pit bastard knife right here. Let's go ahead and slice into these bad boys. Get out of the bottom there. All right, baby. There we go. Beautiful shorties. All right, let's chop into this one. Take a bite. All right, time to make these little bite-sized pieces. There's not a fat in there. You know, fat equals flavor. Ooh. Juicy as can be. I know you can see that marbling in there. Hot, juicy. Let's give it a bite. He's, I mean, I already tried it. I'll try one on camera for you, but I already tried it. I know it's awesome. Give it a shot. Got a nice little piece with some bark. Nice and fatty and juicy. Excited. Mm. <laughs> you know it's good, baby. Mm. All right, recap. Trim the short ribs. Season the short ribs with Caribbean Q. Got them on the pit barrel. Use a little cherry wood. Use a little uh, whiskey oak barrel uh, chips. Okay, so a little combination of each. Tons and tons of smoke. Not much of a smoke ring, if at all. Thought this was a little odd, but hey, it happens. Doesn't ruin the flavor, doesn't change the flavor. Smoke rings are just for pretty, but these are good. All right. If you guys want to get yourself uh, the pit barrel cooker, I will link down below that grill blazer uh, flamethrower from uh, <laughs> Girl Blazer. Uh, I'll put a link down below for that one too. Knives, cutting boards, all that good stuff. I'll hit down those links below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, share this with your friends, comment down below, all that good YouTube stuff. That's it for this one. Thanks for uh, hanging out with me in my backyard, in my kitchen. Thanks for stopping by. Cheers.